Hello. Now. Now. <laughs> All right, so drop Nora off. Now I'm about to clean out this dirty car. The car wash is broken, so I can't get the outside washed right now, but I'm at least gonna go ahead and get the inside vacuumed out. So I'm gonna put y'all right. I need, I still need a holder. I still do not have a holder for this car. That's what I need to get is a holder. I've been meaning to do that and I just haven't done it. So anyways, I'm gonna set y'all right. So I don't know where the, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know where the, what? I don't even know what I was gonna say, but. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all from, from this point of view. Look at that. Okay, so I cleaned out the car. It feels so much better in here. Oh my gosh, I got carried away. I ended up spending like an hour cleaning out the car, but it needed to be done. I just wiped it down really good, vacuumed it out really good. I wanna shampoo the carpets, but I'll do that another time. But yeah, I got that done. So I'm about to run in here real quick to grab something and then I'm gonna go home and work on my paperwork. Um, but I just want to rant real quick. Um, you know, something happened yesterday with someone that I consider to be very close to me, like to the point where I feel like I, tr I thought I trusted her completely. Like, um, I mean, I've done life with this girl for ye some years now, like years, 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 like, and she pulled something yesterday that just, I cannot even like begin to wrap my head around it. Words just don't do it. I can't find the words to describe the the level of disappointment that I have in her and like the intensity of how I'm looking at her with the side eye right now. Like it is so true when people show you who they are, believe them because she's done something in the past that has really made me question her character. But you know, I'm the type that I like to forgive and move on and I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I don't like negativity. I don't like um, drama. I don't like any of that. I don't like confrontation. I don't, I don't like it. I don't have time for it. 
I'm going through a lot right now and mince, I don't even have the energy or mental capacity to argue with anyone. And it's really not even necessary because if someone goes to that level to, <laughs> some people are just immature y'all. Some people are self-absorbed, immature and malicious. Like when they get called out on their behavior, basically she got called out lying about something that's so stupid and I could care less about. But then she goes and tries to drag an innocent bystander into, into it to distract and deflect from her behavior and her lie. And it's like, girl, that, wow, like, I would have just left it alone. But then she had to go and get all crazy with it. And I'm just, <laughs> I don't play about my kids. I do not play about my kids. Anyone that knows me knows that you go and you if you're gonna have my daughter's name come out of your mouth you better think twice about what about how you're using it because if you're coming out of like from a negative malicious evil intent hateful intention like think twice because that's really going to affect our relationship and how i move with you and how i move and operate with you in the future so that's all I'm gonna say about that. But sometimes it really does, you know, it, it is the people that you think you can trust the most that disappoint you the most. And it, it just, it boggles my mind that people don't realize that you can see through the bullshit. Like you can see through and see their intention with things. It's like, it doesn't, it's common sense. You know, maybe it's like God gives us, um, revelation and wisdom and I don't know if like I guess some people don't have the level of where they can I mean but it's like how do you how do you think that I wouldn't know like where what you're trying to do here it's just pathetic it's pathetic and again it was like over something so dumb to begin with it's just like that was so unnecessary it could have just been dropped and you know moved forward like anyway wow that's all i can say is wow 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 um anyway so when people show you who they are believe them because i had an instance in the past that was kind of questionable but i forgave and moved forward now we're having the same kind of issue and it's like okay now <laughs> Mm, it's just disappointing when it's someone that you think that you can trust and I mean no one's perfect but it's a level of like you're gonna go to that level to for what like anyway um, I'm not letting you know the devil is always busy and I'm not gonna let him get me drag me into something that it, I don't have time for like the negativity is just it's just not I'm not doing it so with that being said I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day and I'm going to keep on being positive and you know some people just breed negativity some people just have and it's spiritual it's like it's not even just that person it's clearly there's like some kind of demonic uh spiritual thing that causes them to want to you know call it like cause, cause an argument and cause division and cause um you know offense and it's like for what i mean don't you see that the devil's using you to like don't let them don't don't fall into those thoughts you control your thoughts and you know you you have to take responsibility that's so big i'm realizing so many adults don't take responsibility for their actions I don't get it. Like, grow up. It's time to grow up, people. Like, when you're a grown-ass adult and you have kids. Yeah. Wow. So, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. But, yeah. I'm just going to say, when you're a grown-ass adult <laughs> and you have kids and you have things, you know, a life, you're not going to go. Your mental health is your responsibility and no one else's. So, don't go word vomiting on other and, you know spilling out your negativity on other people just because you don't have your mental health in check okay 
That's what I'm going to say because then people are not going to want to deal with you. And all you're doing is hurting yourself. That's just what it is. Like, people can see through the bullshit. People can see your intentions. People can see that your insecurity, you know, you're letting your insecurities cause you to, but don't try to, don't try to put that shit on me. Like, no, and you're def what you're definitely not going to do is you're definitely not going to be coming for my baby. Okay. That's when you cross the line because anyone that knows me knows I do not play with my babies. Like I do not play when it comes to my kids. Okay. So that's going to affect the way that I move with you in the future. That's going to affect the way that me and you are going to be forever. And I really hope it was worth it. That's all I'm saying. Huh? I want me a new mommy. A new mommy? Yeah. You don't want me? A new mommy. A new mommy. Oh, it's still recording. Hey guys, how's it going? This is her favorite daughter here, and I'm about to drive home. <laughs>